Welcome back everybody to another Halloween themed Goliath's build video. I know it's pretty much all been kind of monsters and stuff, but this was more specifically color themed and with Halloween in mind, a build that I wanted to try to do with you guys and show off. I'm wanting to bring in more parts that we don't normally see. We've got some grime elemental pieces that are going to be truly incredible to add into our piece as well. This one's going to be kind of more a little less refined than the last video. I, this was just me goofing off with certain parts and stuff that I started piecing together and just seeing what would work and what didn't. So you'll kind of see the process of that a little bit. Some of it I kind of pre-planned and other parts I'm going to be kind of doing on the fly. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And I don't mention in the last video, so I'm going to mention it again here today. Go on Instagram and use the hashtag lockdown Goliath build for your own personal builds that you guys have created. If something there inspires me or if I have pieces for something, I would love to recreate it myself and feature you guys and give you guys a shout out in an upcoming Glios build video. So Lockdown Glios build, use the hashtag, go check out what other people have done and let's have some fun building some Glios. All right, let's go check out the build so far. Okay, here is what we're playing with today. I've got a bunch of parts out, some God piece, extra parts that I had lying around. In fact, I've got more over here. I'll probably be busting open and getting out for this guy. I've had this base. It is pretty cool. I love the orange. It fits the little Halloween theme. And I've been wanting to use this Grim Elemental's head for a long time. This thing is absolutely ridiculously sick. I love it and I couldn't wait to put on a build. Uh, I've got some like weird Mangalore parts and Kazix parts or whatever, however you say that name of that one guy. Uh, different God Beast stuff too, Bio Mutant Monster Mass stuff. So I've got kind of an idea with these parts what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, and then these parts are going to be supplementary and I got to finish off legs and stuff too. So we're going to build them up in just a minute. But first I wanted to kind of do a little Halloween themed Glios guy. I haven't opened up this dude. This is an O'Neill design, Frankenstein, a little cool guy, a little Phaos custom, little nice piece. I don't know what series this is from. I'll put the info on the screen, but I, I don't know why I've never opened them. I've showed them off in a lot I got in before, but I've just never opened this guy up and I really want to take some sick pictures with them. So let's get them out of the package. There's lots of extra parts in here too. Like they give you a whole bunch of extra stuff, different legs so you can kind of make the regular version, like I guess is what they're going for. They've even got, oh, they've got like, this is like a top of a fading head. That is weird. Can you take out this part? No, it doesn't look like it. And it doesn't give you any other headpiece. So that's an interesting little inclusion, but a nice little piece actually. But let's check out the figure. I mean, come on, how cool is that little Frankenstein monster? That is so sick. It looks like he has ball joints on his shoulders, but he doesn't. He just moves up and down and around and whatever. Kind of a cool little custom, not custom. This was part of a drop, an actual drop. So, but they combine like fading parts with a couple different parts. I forget what these parts would be from. Like the legs are beefier on this, the arms are beefier. They go to another figure and then they kind of combine the two type deal. But he looks really, really sweet. I mean, I love his face. That is such a cool little fade in face. That is awesome. In any case, I'm glad to finally open them. I'm going to take some sweet pictures of them too. So if you want to see those, go follow me on Instagram at lockdown 51. Check me out there. I might even beef this guy out a little bit more with these extra joint parts. Who knows? He's going to kind of hang out in the background a little bit here and we're going to get these pieces out of here. This piece, I don't know what this piece is typically for, but this is a great little connector piece. Oh yeah, this is nice. All right, let's get back to this dude. Now I wanted something that would go together so i tried to get you know matching parts that would kind of work well with this bigger body make them beefy make some kind of crazy looking creature is what i'm going for here so i'm thinking these for shoulders i'm not going to make them too movable too poseable i'm going to keep them pretty simple i ended up putting these little fists from an O'Neill drop on top of these to connect them to this. Kabang, these are gonna be like the arms. It looks pretty dope. Let's get the other one on here. Boom, you can see it come together a little bit. And then I've got these going for the legs once we pop them into place here. Now, honestly, this looks really sick, just having them kind of be in this weird little stance, but I need some feet for them. So I want to build some feet up for this guy. And then again, we're going to be throwing this head on top of them at the end of the day. And where is my other piece? Here it is. I'm going to use in some fashion, this part for the neck. He's going to have a huge, lanky, crazy looking neck. 
and then this is going to plop in on top. We're not get, we're going to wait to complete the headpiece at the very end. So we're going to wait on that part. We might do it like this. We'll see. This is what we got. This is what we're working with. Now we need to work on feet. And since these kind of fade from the orange to the black to the red, the reddish orange, it is kind of more of an orange. I figured we might be able to pull something together with these little god beast parts. They're a nice red. They're kind of a little bit brighter red, but that's okay. I'm thinking these kind of for feet, like these weird kind of claw feet, maybe. I need another piece in between. This doesn't look bad per se, but I, I kind of want one other thing. Might be looking at like plopping a little ball joint piece in here or something like that, which I do have right here. We've got some of the red ones. I'll probably open these up, check out what we can put together with that. Ooh, I could even use these on the legs. That might look kind of nice too. Just add a little bit of an extra detail. I love attaching these little neckerchief things here and tossing them on different parts. It really adds something really nice to the piece when you can add little details like that. You know what? What if we attached them in between here and here? Hmm. Okay. 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 I kind of like that idea. Something kind of sort of like that, which means I need to open up my second one of these. Thank goodness I got two of them because I'm going to need the other parts. They're a little floppy, not staying super well, but that's okay. Now, the other question I had was, do I want him kind of hunched over like this, or do I want him to be able to stand up straight? These are the questions that I've been asking myself, and I'm not sure which way to go with it. We could potentially do both. Ooh, that could look really cool, something like this. Ooh, okay, now that's a little hoof thing going on. That kind of looks sick. And we can have him kind of standing up straighter. We could have him doing some wacky stuff here, which might be kind of fun. All right, I built up the other piece. Let's attach it onto this leg and see how he stands. Boom, there we go. Let's just move some of these out of the way. We're not using half of those parts. I don't know why I included all of them in there. Okay, all right, this might get a little tricky. Flip a few things around and I think think we'll be okay. Oh my gosh, this guy's gonna be so lanky and crazy. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I know how to balance him. He's actually got a peg here on the back. We can attach something and actually get him to hold himself up a little bit nicer. What do we got here from the God parts? What about this? Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. That actually might look really sick. Let's throw one of these on there. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, let's just get him. Oh, yep, 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 yep. That is going to work super well, though. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, where's the piece? Is this it? This is it. All right, here we go. Okay, all attached on. That's what we got going. That's sick. That is big monster vibes. Oh, now he stands perfectly. That's so cool. That is coming together quite nicely. Oh, that's right. I was going to have him wear a little belt. Do I want to separate him a little bit and like add one of these on? I could add some more cool stuff if I put this on. Let me just see how it looks. Okay. I don't know. I was kind of trying to keep it more creature-esque and this is the separation kind of makes it look like, uh, mm. see, I could take these little doohickeys if we can get a focus and I could attach them on the sides and that might be help with like the design it's kind of cool well what about that like where we just add a few things around it okay okay that kind of looks pretty dope honestly that's kind of cool i was gonna say we could add one more connector point in the arms just to make him lankier and give him a little bit more movement potentially i wasn't trying to go for that but honestly i'm getting tempted now that i just have all these pieces out this kind of gives another extra layer of that little separation between the red and the orange and you can swing it around and still make him kind of that lanky little crazy monkey that we've got going on here except with more length okay i dig it all right let's do it on the other side okay okay this guy is looking fire there was one more thing i wanted to add and that's because we have the little hand pieces that are connecting to our crazy little claw hands i wanted to add something here i was thinking about grabbing oh where's the piece this piece from the God Beast collection and adding it onto the sides here in some kind of way to make it kind of look even more crazy clawy. Now the question of how do I want to attach it? This going inwards or do we want it protruding outwards? 
Also, just realizing it would be kind of cool to add two of these axe pieces like on the back up like this. That would be kind of sick too. Don't know how I would achieve that effect. Okay, all right. So my wife came up here. I got her opinion. She liked them in. I think I agree as well. I think it does look pretty nice. I think I could have done it either way, but I do like in. I added those little skulls. They look pretty sick. If we can get some clarity here. Whoa, what is going on? There we go. Look at that. And uh, if you can see, because he's so massive now, but I added this little part to the neck and it just adds that little bit of contrast breakup between the colors. It looks sick. I'm super happy with it. And then I figured out a way to attach both of the axes onto the back or like little wings or something. I don't know. And I went ham with it. It might be too much. Maybe I should have just kept it simple with that shark fin kind of look prior to what I was saying before. But I mean, come on, look at this, right? This is what I went with. It's all the God Beast parts, some amazing parts in his mega like DX or EX little sets that he comes out with some really, really dope parts. So this is what I got. It should attach pretty nicely. So much going on with this guy. It's ridiculous. Get it in there. Something kind of sort of looks pretty cool. I guess we could rotate him down a little bit too. And that might look pretty baller. Ooh, kind of like that too. But let's keep him down like this. Cause that actually does look pretty lit just like that all right i think we're ready to add the head we got to clear out some of this other stuff there's just a lot going on it really helped to have all the pieces out like that too i will say and just for comparison i mean we're gonna put the head on this guy and he's his look is gonna be complete but He's massive. So massive that we got to kind of stand the camera up here a little bit. And now the exciting part, the completed look. Let's attach the head on this sucker and check out how this flies all together. Let's see it. Oh my gosh, he's insane. Holy crap. <laughs> now we could also have the head uh, in the different positions a little bit. We could also have it kind of up and out, which also kind of looks crazy wild too you can have him looking up a little bit kind of like that but also if you want him to get on all fours his head will still make sense maybe maybe that one part is just making his neck a little too long i'm not sure it could be it could be okay but let's just get hands off for just one second take it all in check it out i mean he's absurdly crazy looking and uh definitely a monstrous halloween creature i just can't take my hands off him I guess holy crap let's let's get him in a little pose here let's uh let's pose him up a little bit wild absolutely wild just the sheer audacity of this build is hilarious to me man what else could we do do we need to shorten his neck I hate to do it I hate to do it I think we might just might be a little too much one of these parts might look okay and then I could really like twist his neck around a little bit more I could go for something like that even where his head's kind of forward and out the other cool part of adding this is when he is on all fours his head is a little bit up too or he can kind of be like rar you know just get a little rar action going i think i can live with this yeah we're, we're gonna have to call it here i mean i could be building for hours i've already been talking for what seems like forever that is wild that is freaking cool dude I love it. I'm still super, super happy with how the legs turned out. Very, very proud of those legs. They look really cool. What do you guys think though? Tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think about this crazy dude? Oh my gosh, he's just insane. Dude. All right, I'm gonna take some cool shots of this guy now that you guys have looked him over. I'll set him up in some cool positions and showcase him here. Bing, bing, bing. There we go. What do you guys think of that? I'll post those on my Instagram too. Again, reminder, lockdown51. Go follow me. That's going to do it for this build video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to stay tuned. We are having a Halloween theme Go-Go's Crazy Bone opening with the Ghost series coming up on Sunday. If you missed the last video, we did the McDonald's Happy Meal Toy Halloween theme video. Until then though, make sure you guys have a great Halloween little weekend here. If you go to any parties or anything, make sure to be safe, have some fun, and we will catch you guys in the next video.